Hello everybody and welcome back to Chicken Police. Now I think I'm already starting to get a little bit of a theory about what's going on. Ibn Wessler's in love with uh what's her name? Katsenko? Mm -hmm. I think. Natasha. Natasha Katsenko. Yeah. So he's trying to go straight for her, but she's kinda got her own dirty dealings. Suddenly someone's trying to pick a fight with her. And she doesn't want Ibn to know because that might drag Ibn back to his old mobster ways. Being like, you're trying to fuck with my girl? I'll fucking bury you. You know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's why the secrecy. But it doesn't explain the motive just yet. Singing Sensation of the Millions later became the owner under Ibn's patronage. Kind of mysterious. <clears throat> Yeah. Zip was delivering information to Ibn up a couple years ago. He was already working as a police informant then, so may have been reporting both sides. Sneaky little bastard. Anything new to ask about? No. You sure talk a lot. And maybe the past is haunting me. Once a rat, always a rat. Man. You're a raccoon, though. Oh, come on, Zippy. Don't be so hard on yourself. You got out in time. And you've been living an honest, ordinary life since then, haven't you? Yeah, right. How lucky am I, eh? It's more than what many others get, believe me. Life in prison, or... A, what's the word? Uh, <clears throat> a gravestone in the gutter. What's this no insects allowed shit? You're not like that. What do you think? If I let one in, all of them will follow. And then I can forget my regular clientele for good. What clientele? There's no one here. That's it. Would you take even that away from me? There's... Wow! So you would rather have nobody than a discriminated minority. You're kind of trash, no my trash panda. Allow? What are you... What? That's it. Okay, cool. Fuck you. I'm done. <clears throat> How do I get out of here? The door, What's dude. that? You know, I don't want to... What's that smell? You know, I don't want to know... Zip once had Marty do the dishes because he tried to take off without paying. <laughs> that was one of the best days of my life. Oh, that's pretty great. Zip one. Okay. <clears throat> Man, you don't, uh... Okay. Okay, so we went to, 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 to... We could still visit Hotel Atlas before we go off and do our shit. It is time thing. Yeah, yeah so not? let's go do that. <clears throat> Yee, my condolences, pal. I see your cleaning lady died. Yeah, she set foot in the bedroom once. I haven't seen her since. I didn't dare to go after her. Oh, I wouldn't want to go in there either. <laughs> but what's that smell? Ah, cigarettes and whiskey. Yeah, with a hint of dirty laundry, but no, this is... Lavender? Oh my! Right. Now that's got to be the Ibanez dame. You know, the broad who gave me the letter. And the job, obviously. Ah, uh, pretty, huh? I can smell it. She's an exotic, too. An Impala, maybe? Dude, what the fuck? Furry hell. That's why Chief Inspector Bloodboil hates you so much. He's jealous because your nose is better than a clucking bloodhound. <laughs> the bitter old dog. He just hates all foul. Ah, yeah, true. Except for Monica. Who is Monica? Monica is a fairy, not a bird. Uh, oh, right. Well, you know, the receptionist. The, what, the hummingbird lady, yes. Well, mm -hmm. let's gather my stuff and head to the club. We gotta find out who this Natasha is and what she wants from us. I mean, what she really wants. After you, boss bird. I wouldn't like to touch anything in here anyway. If it's okay, I'll just stand around and stare out the window. So I guess this would be your chance. <laughs> sure, just do it quiet. If you hadn't grabbed all your shit from before, this would be your chance to come back and like grab your gun and all that shit. Now what would be really interesting is if you didn't grab it at first, you came back and you found the shit empty because that would imply someone's been here. Mm -hmm. You know, this city's outgrown us. Time to burn it all down again. Why do you say that? Well, don't you feel it? 
The whole place squeezing you. <clears throat> the polluted air, the sirens, and the smell of cordite. Cordite? Ah, uh, don't be such a drama queen. It's not the world that's changed, it's us. Clawville's Clawville. We're just getting older. No, there really is something. You know the feeling of foreboding, of something wrong, of something bad on the horizon. Of course. When uh, yes, man yeah, comes along. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not sorry. Yes, man. Oh, shit. The spawn of Satan himself. Man would destroy you and ask for a toothpick in exchange. Just a bunch of useless crap. Okay, well. You're getting older, Marty. You look like shit. <clears throat> ah, gee, thanks. I thought angels don't grow old. Ah, leave it, will ya? Sure. What the fuck? Boo-hoo. Huh? <laughs> when was the last time I was here? I don't know. Years ago. When Molly left. Whew, that was a... a wild night. Yeah. You know, Sonny, you can call me. Not just when you want to investigate some shady case from a shady dame, and you need a big meat shield to cover your ass. Ah, but you love it though. Change, Marty, and I don't call anyone. Why do you have a phone then? All right, all right, boss bird. Whatever you say. <laughs> Wait a minute, you're a fucking liar. You called the other guy to get the the the, the Ibanez lady a, a ride home. You liar. What was that thing I got about Marty? No. Beautiful, warm hearted pages. No. Eh. Anything else? So, am I staring quietly enough? Well, the floor's creaking a bit when you shift your weight, so, uh. You're an asshole. <laughs> you have what we came for? I just want to look around a little. I'm ready. Yeah. Wait, was there actually right, something I was supposed to be getting here? Grab your map and let's hit the road. Maybe. Uh, pile of paper type bridge. Pile of papers, maybe? I'm gonna clean up here one day. Yeah, and one day the sun's gonna explode, too. I'm gonna clean... Okay. Phone! I don't have anybody's phone number. Have you writer? started on your great novel yet? No. I've already started working on my will, but I realized I'd have to leave everything to you, so clock that. Huh. Pity. I've always wanted a chicken coop smelling like old socks and bourbon. You'll have to earn it first, Marty. <clears throat> what, shooting you wasn't enough? I suppose yeah, two shots was hits. enough for today. At least until we learn what this Natasha woman really wants. Yeah, I can't get too sauced up yet. City phone, cabinet, light switch, better. All right, good. Well, I this is a really good style. I like this. It's like a living. It's, it's like one of those uh, I Spy books, but it's like alive, you know. All right, well, mm, it would be yeah. best to board it up. It'd go well with this rundown neighborhood. It may be run down, but somehow I still feel like it's honest. Sure. You can live in Cockroach Town. That's an honest place, too. Has a similar stink. Believe me, Marty, I thought about it. Uh, why am I not surprised? All right, I don't think there's anything else to do here. I think this was just in case you didn't grab your gun and your badge and shit. So we've been to the hot dog. Hop dog, sorry. Uh, only place left to go is the Zar Club, yeah? Yeah. Off Time we to go, go. Miss Natasha herself. Oh boy. Midnight had passed, and the intoxicated madness kicked in. We could only crawl along Shalva District's main street toward downtown. The city's heart beat differently. Ancient buildings were defaced by neon signs and billboards. Like half-drunk lovers on a fine leather sofa. <laughs> Great old houses neighbored by garish modern blocks. A place that makes the head hurt. The Tsar's huge neon sign was visible for miles. Oh, a blazing color. red sign advertised tonight's main attraction, the amazing Natasha. Uh, cops were never welcomed at places like this. 
I hoped we were too late for the show. We had to be inconspicuous, but it was never easy with this bird mountain by my side. So red is the only color that remains in the world. Makes me wonder, why is that? Because by now we know the world ah, is so literally drained is of color. The famous Zar Club. More like infamous, Marty. It's not for our kind, that's for sure. And I don't mean that they don't like foul here. They probably don't, well, though. Well, at least we don't have to be afraid that they see you as a detective, Boss Bird. Ah. Very funny, Marty. So what are we going to do now? We find <clears throat> Natasha, the broad who sent me the message, remember? But first, we need to get into the club. And Marty, please, don't monkey this up. <gasps> Excuse me? On behalf of the well-respected and noble primate community of Clawville. Oh, God. <laughs> Cut the crap, Marty. <laughs> Let's focus on what we're here for, okay? As you say, boss bird. Okay. Uh, stork lady. Well, honestly, Lewis? I think these types of women only see faceless tuxedos, cufflinks, and wallets. And in the mirror, they're just brooches, necklaces, and earrings. Don't be so radical, uh... Marty. They're women. They live by different rules. God, the uh, was kinda deep. 1920s is hitting strong, isn't it? There's more where that came from. Ooh, teach me, master. When you're old and wise like me, you'll realize none of it is worth a damn thing. Wait, that was deep again, right? What? Maybe it was, Marty. Maybe it was. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's <clears throat> Lewis. Oh, hey. Hey, that's your old friend, right? Wait, what was his name? Uh, Lawrence? Lamar? No, Liam. Lewis. Yes, it's him. To be honest, Sonny, I always thought that guy's not all there in the head. Nobody's perfectly sane in Clawville, Marty. But if not for this old rabbit, I wouldn't be here today. I'll never forget that. Should I thank him for that? Or kill him for it? You're reading my mind, boss. You guys have quite the little thing going on. <laughs> Sonny, my dear friend. Hi, Lewis. This is my partner. But I'm sure you already know. You have no idea how happy I am to meet you, Mr. Marty. I'm a big admirer of your work. Pleasure's all mine, Lawrence. Lawrence? <clears throat> Anyways. So, the legendary chicken police... Back together? <laughs> Isn't it amazing news? Don't ruffle my feathers, Lewis. <clears throat> Those days are long gone. We're just here for the entertainment. Or something like that. Something like I that, see. huh? Well, that's a shame. See you inside? I have s something to do, my f f f f pal. But I'll try to make it for the main event. Okay, then. Catch you later, pal. That's interesting. What do you got to do out here, Lewis? Let's not bother him again. Oh. Yes, sir. Let's Lady. not bother her. Oh. Okay, boss. God damn it. What else we got around here? A newspaper. Mexico. Don't mind if I the do. The Chronicle was a really high quality newspaper. You mean when they wrote something about us daily? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What exactly happened to them? We stopped well, they doing got bored shit. with us, Marty. And to be honest, so did I. But still, here we are working together again. Funny, huh? Yeah, hilarious. Funny in a cosmic sort of way. Tonight, maybe we'll be on the front page once again. Let's not. Oh, God forbid. Let's let's not though. That was the advertisement tower. A Clawville stole story. Huh? I like this. <clears throat> Why is that? I don't know. Cause it's moving, I guess. You're a simple bird, aren't you? Yes, I am. That was a rhino girl. Okay, let's see. Moonlight, Moonlight. Bull... Yeah, Moonlight Boulevard. Boulevard. Bull <laughs> I thought it was Boulevard. Huh. And yeah, let's Zarkla. Let's see, it's a pigeon. A That's seal, a rhino, a and a cheetah. A cheetah. Hmm. <gasps> Poor Simuave. What? Oh, bless you. It means, and yet it moves, bird brain. An old wolf named Galileo said that. Oh, yeah, oh, when he was on I trial. And what did he mean Wait. by that? Eh, 
dunno. I think there was something wrong with his stomach. No, god damn it, it was a sick one liner against the church when he was when they basically forced him to ad like admit that the world was the center of the universe, even though it wasn't. Ah, god damn it. Oh, look at that. Isn't that the new it is, Marty. A brand new 942 Silver Hawk. Haven't seen such beauty since I left Averia. Of oh. all that's furry. Whose is it? Maybe it's Ibn Wessler's. I guess he's no paper tiger. Yeah, he sounds like a fellow who drives around in one of these. Lucky bastard. Oh, don't worry. If you're unlucky enough, you can get in the back seat of one. Or if you're even unluckier, you'll get in the trunk. Yeah. Don't worry. Either way, I'm sure we'll get to grace such a car. <laughs> For, yeah, okay. Timothy Saltwater. The seagull journalist. Oh, that's cool. Timothy Saltwater. <laughs> <laughs> a country inhabited exclusively by birds. It's a picturesque modern place governed by a democratic parliament. It's supported by two seas and its economy built mostly on air transport, commercial, and it's... Oh, commerce. And it's aerial military. Companies on neutral terms with almost every other nation, except for the Great Meat War. And, oh, and except for the Great Meat War, had kept the standpoint all throughout known history. I I really need some context on the Meat War. So is the Meat War like World War Two? I something? think where it was like, oh god, it probably was where it was like you know the the Germany, Italy, and Japan were like, we're gonna eat all of you. Arr! You know some what shit like that. Beautiful car. Just... A work of art. See, oh, uh, man. someone convincing all the competitors that oh, they are the top of the food chain and it. everyone else I is think not. We'd be great gangsters. Oh no, what I animal was life. Hitler? <laughs> what was Hitler? <laughs> was he a wolf? A tiger? Oh no. I'm curious about that now. Jeez, look at that guy. That's not a guy. That's a demon. Straight from the dog-eared pages of a cheap detective novel. Yeah, I bet his name's Bill. Nah, he's definitely a Bob. Five bucks for Bill? Okay, I'm in. <laughs> okay, let's find out. Howdy, pal. Oh, Gentlemen, you are big. How can I help you on this wonderful chilly night? You are big. We're expected in the VIP lounge. My apologies, but I don't remember ever seeing you gentlemen here before. May I ask? Now stop right there, big guy. I get it. Yeah, I know exactly how this works. So what do you have to do to get in? Nothing's easier, sir. Are you on the list? The list? Yeah, I... Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, don't tell me you forgot. I'm afraid I did, Marty. Sorry, big guy, but I'm pretty sure we're not on the list tonight. That's a shame. I'm really sorry, sirs. In that case, you can't come in. Oh, really? Yeah, right. Oh, thanks. My pleasure, gentlemen. Why are you French? Why are you My a French? My city's on fire. What? Where? Oh, so it is. Okay. Um, the wild new show tonight. My city is on fire. Entrance advertisement. Closer. Yeah, fine. The most colorful club in the most colorful city. Uh, the city's on fire. You know, seeing this, I can't wait for the show. <laughs> the girls. New Year's Eve's once a year, right? And we're not on duty. I'm if not on duty. Laura's You're. Doing... Eh, whatever. Whoa, hey, I, <laughs> I was just kidding, okay? My relationship with Laura is unwavering, like the rhino beauty on this picture. Nice. Interesting taste you've got. Don't fucking Feathers, mock him for it. People scales, can like what they like, dude. Armor. A lady's a lady, my friend. What's wrong with a big Thanks lady? A What's wrong with a big lady who can power smash you? Gentlemen huh? like you? A big lady who could I'll take have... a yeah. A big lady who could take buckshot and then power slam you through a wall. You know. What's, just... What's wrong with a big lady that could lift you up like a small child and throw you across the room, huh? <laughs> just get very I'll have a preference you do. It. Shut up. <laughs> It's just reminded him Mark with Lady Dimitrescu. <laughs> yeah, it's all about the power. <laughs> it's it's not it's a sexual about the thing. Power, it's about else. power and respect. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Look, I really don't want any trouble, but uh, it is even more inconvenient for me, sir, but this place doesn't <clears> like uh <throat> compares. 
Copernicus. Copernicus. You have to understand. Listen here, you Ah, cow. damn it. Do you have any idea who we are? You ever read the papers? Dude, don't antagonize. Oops, I know who you are, sir. I get the news and more. And I must admit, it's an honor to meet you in person. Mr. Santino Featherland and Mr. Marty Machikin. <laughs> the Pillar of the Pantages is one of my favorite books. Oh, I'm, my wait, what God. now? Not the books again. Oh! So it would be terribly inconvenient for me if I had to use force. Someone made gentleman. novels about you. What, oh, what did no. You just say? Relax, Marty. This guy has chicks like you for breakfast. Uh, thanks for the information, pal. Uh, have a nice night. Thank you for understanding, gentlemen. And forgive me for my austere composition. You seem like a nice no dude. No problem, Shakespeare. Yeah. Okay. We gotta end this here, but we will pick this right back up in the next one. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. Well, yes.